All right, welcome back to another portfolio update. The market is closed. Uh, for the day, we did pretty good, 639. After hours, it's changing right now, so it's at 49. The past week, down 374. One month, 1648. Three months, 2473. Uh, let's see, year to date, 3156 at 6.5 percent somebody asked me why is my year to date so low i don't think it's low i mean if we continue at this we should be pretty good if it doubles it should be almost what 13 percent up for the year uh for the year three or 13 there it is 1373 62.29 and overall up 43 percent at 15,560. all right you guys probably saw the title I have a gold uh, membership with Robinhood, and what I did this week, I added margin. So what margin is, is practically, it's basically a loan on your money that you have. Actually, no, it's a loan on top of the money you have. So I had around 51000 They're allowing me to borrow 49000 right there, plus I have my cash, which is... Uh, Sort of 3500 and this morning I traded some options 9,000 so we have a total of 44 now of course you're borrowing money and they're going to charge you interest so I'll show you guys the breakdown so um, you got to stay within a good range here here's the buffer that they allow so for this uh, since I have a Robinhood gold account it's five bucks a month uh, the first $1,000 is free, interest-free. The rest is at 6.75% interest annualized. Then they divide it by uh, per day. So every day it's going to add up some interest right in that little spot there on the money that I'm borrowing. So here are the rates. I mean, $50 million, that's kind of crazy, but I don't know who has that. So I have less than 50000 so 6.75 is the current rate. Now, I'm not going to always use all of it. I'm not going to go crazy with this account or this margin. This is to try something out so you guys can see how it works. And uh, so let's take a look. So I did some options with that money. So I'm not using my money. And we used it on GameStop. I know. Don't think GameStop is crazy. It's been going kind of crazy. Yes, it's unstable. Sure. I don't mind selling options. I think I, I did pretty good. So we did one uh, option this morning. I sold a $18 put. So we sold the put. So I did five contracts. Each one paid 52 bucks. It was a total of $260 is what I made on it. Let me see if it shows that. There it is. 260 right there is what I profited. And uh, they did charge 15 cents for a regulatory fee. So we made 260 and this is worth right now total of $85. Now this expires at the end of the week, which is uh, three more days of trading. So we'll see, I can get out whenever I want. I can go back in here and buy it. So I would have to buy the five contracts. I mean, you can put whatever price you want here. Let's say we go 15, it's gonna be $75 cost and I get out completely. The money that I used the 9,000 to do this goes back into the margin account. And barely any interest will be charged, maybe a day or two of interest. And I profited $260 minus whatever it cost me to buy it out. Or I can wait until Friday, expiration date, which is um, just three days away. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, there's the expiration, 531. And I did sell it today, 528. So if GameStop goes under... $18 by Friday. Yes, I'm going to use that $9,000. It's going to be charged interest daily on it. And I get stuck with 500 shares because of the five contracts of GameStop. But you can go back and sell what we call the wheel. You can always sell a call. So you just go back, trade options. Next week, sell a call. So if we get stuck at 18, I, I, these numbers are way off right now. I can't use these as a as a guide so it just depends on what it's going to be but let's say we buy at 18 my strike is 18 
next week you can go back and sell at 19 or whatever you know and kind of keep doing the wheel like that so the interest will be covered so this is a test on the margin account to see if we can use robin hood's money to make more money hopefully it works out and we don't get stuck with shares we don't want so that's a risk you run so the worst part that you know could happen that we get stuck with 500 shares of gamestop and we pay interest on the borrowed money until we pay that money back for the margin so that's the whole point of this i'm not going to max it out i'm just going to use parts of it weekly and try to do weekly options and see how much we can make um let me know what you guys think am i crazy for doing it um i am going to look into other companies to do other uh option strategy on it so we'll see maybe spy spy is a little crazy nvidia is a little crazy that's a lot of money but stuff that doesn't cost too much money even though we have fifty thousand to use um so let me know maybe apple google but uh i don't think they pay much so let's say if we go to apple and let's say we want to what are they at right now 190. let's say we want to do next week we sell a put at what do we feel comfortable with yeah see if we do 185 we sell what one eighteen thousand dollars and we make 50 bucks or maybe two can we do three is that enough yeah three would be fifty five thousand and we make 155 bucks i don't know if it's worth it but apple's a great company so if it drops to 185 we own all those shares there would be 300 shares i don't know let me know what you guys think i don't want to do this on any company that's super crazy like this one even though gamestop you guys could say it could be crazy but i don't want to do it on these guys this is very crazy how it's working right now this company supposedly it's 100 percent short or 98 percent short something crazy like that so be very careful all right guys this is not to promote you guys to do a margin account or use margin money to do crazy trades be very careful i'm doing this because i i'm pretty sure i know what i'm doing i've been doing this for a while and i'm going to take it very easy very careful and we'll see how it goes let me know your comments and um, hit the like thanks